Welcome to the Xavier Files, where we attempt to tell the story of every mutant ever. All art is owned and copyrighted by Marvel Comics. Always leave them laughing. Nothing I could say could sum up the massive mutant known as Strong Guy better than Peter David did in his classic issue of X Factor number 87, Examinations, in which Doc Sampson psychoanalyzes the X Factor team. It is here where we first learn of Strong Guy's inner struggle, as he states in this issue, but to this day I'm in constant agony, constant. Oh, I don't let on, of course, because the guys, like I said, they'll feel sorry if they know I'm hurting, so I make with the jokes to cover it. The guys, the team, are the first real friends I've had. If they pitied me, it'd kill me. For as much of a stage presence as he has, the hulking Guido always tried to stay out of the spotlight, putting his friends and teammates first every time, and they loved him for it. When you look at him from a meta perspective, you see the same thing. He has never taken the spotlight, but Guido Caracella has constantly warmed the hearts of fans. He always left them laughing. Guido was introduced by Chris Claremont and Bill Sinkovitz as the bodyguard to intergalactic rock star, planetary thief, and paramour to cannonball, Lila Cheney, with a design that could only come from the exaggerated style of Sinkovitz. He towered over the other characters with shoulders that couldn't fit through door frames and skinny little legs. He had a signature attitude, Brooklyn charm, and whiff of hair from the start. He would continue to show up everywhere Lila did, before ending up on Muir Island under the influence of the Shadow King, along with the Muir Island X-Men. While the King was defeated, the events caught the attention of Valerie Cooper, who recruited Guido to join her government-sanctioned mutant team, X-Factor. Guido made an immediate impression on his teammates, including Multiple Man and Wolfsbane, as well as the public. During the team's initial unveiling, Guido was forced to come up with a code name in the middle of the press conference, and went with the first thing to come to mind, Strong Guy. His jovial attitude grated on team leader Havoc, but he became close friends with Jamie Maddrox and Rain Sinclair, an arrival to the mutant known as Random. His strength was a huge asset to the team, but could cause unforeseeable collateral damage. In a fight in Washington, D.C., he beat his foe against the side of the Washington Monument and turned the obelisk to rubble. It was eventually revealed that Strong Guy wasn't always the happy-go-lucky jokester that he appeared to be. When he was a child, Guido was small, nerdy, and had trouble fitting in but he was excellent at telling jokes. He became the class clown, but was never able to parlay that into true friendships. One day, while being bullied, he snapped and fought back. Unfortunately, the small child couldn't hold his own in a fight. As they rained blows upon him, Guido's mutant abilities kicked in for the first time, and his arm grew to a ginormous size. In shock, he stumbled into the road and was hit by a bus. His body absorbed the blow and massively grew in size. Unfortunately, his mutation left him in constant pain. The last thing Guido wanted was to be pitied, so he hid how much he suffered from his mutation, deflecting everything with jokes. Life in X-Factor became more and more fragile. Jamie Maddrix contracted the legacy virus, and Strong Guy was devastated to realize there was nothing he could do to prevent his friend's death. He tried masking his pain at the funeral, but it was too much for him, and he eventually broke down. Unfortunately, his body wasn't faring any better. Strong Guy absorbed a huge amount of kinetic energy on several back-to-back -back missions with X-Factor without having a chance to release it. The strain on his body was too much, and he suffered a heart attack. Strong Guy was kept comatose until doctors could fix him. And when he was revived, the world was much different than when he went under. Jamie was alive again, X-Factor was no longer working for the government, and Strong Guy didn't really have a place. He fumbled around, back with Lila in an underground fighting ring, before getting in contact with an old friend who was setting up a new business. Jamie Madrix, multiple man, had decided to start a detective agency, X-Factor Investigations, in the mutant town district of New York City, and wanted Strong Guy to join as their enforcer. In the intervening years, Guido became more sardonic and aggressive. This came to a head when he was ordered to protect Henry Buchanan from his former employer, Singularity Investigations. Alone in a car, Guido crushed the man's throat and called the CEO of Singularity to let him know the job was done. When the team found out about the death, their psychic, Monet, revealed that Guido had been hypnotized into working for Singularity. Strong Guy was crushed by this revelation and began to question if he was inherently a good person or not. This tragedy emboldened Strong Guy to try and become his own man, and he frequently clashed with Jamie. When Val Cooper offered to make him sheriff of Mutant Town, a role that would put him in direct opposition with Madrix, he nearly accepted until a supervillain attack distracted everyone. 
On an assignment to protect Mayor J. Jonah Jameson, Guido was shot in the heart and overtaxed the organ, absorbing too much energy. His teammate, Monet, flew him to the hospital as he confessed his love for her, but it was too late. Guido was dead. Layla Miller would not stand for that and use her mutant gift to restore Strong Guy to life. However, nothing comes without a cost, and Layla couldn't revive anyone with their soul intact. The impact was almost immediate, as Guido became more impatient and aggressive. Monet agreed to go on a date with him, but there was no chemistry, and a frustrated Guido finally walked out on the team. In the meantime, Rain Sinclair gave birth to a son named Tyr, who was prophesied to bring forth the end times. The lords of the various Marvel Hells determined that the one who killed Tyr would become the supreme Hell Lord, and Mephisto recruited the distraught strong guy into working for him. There would be no more jokes, no more friendship, no more living in the limelight. Guido Caracella murdered the child of one of his oldest friends and descended to become the supreme Hell Lord. Eventually, Red Hulk and his team of Thunderbolts were recruited by Mephisto to deal with Strong Guy. The trickster never expected Guido to kill the child himself, and Mephisto wanted his throne back. Red Hulk was able to convince Strong Guy that this wasn't the right place for him, and Guido relinquished his throne to search for his soul. He has not been seen since. For more on Xavier Files, visit XavierFiles.com. While there, check out the Legion Quest podcast and visit the Xavier Files Patreon for exclusive content. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for checking us out. We'll see you next time.